We're now going to hear from Canadian Prime Minister Stephen Harper, and as many as you know, he has been instrumental in women and children's health, and certainly with championing the G8 Muskoka Initiative on maternal, newborn, and child health. He's also co-chaired the Commission on Information and Accountability. Please welcome the Prime Minister. Thank you, Nora. Merci beaucoup for that uh, kind introduction. And I want to give greetings also to my fellow panelists, to the Deputy Secretary General, who really has been, among his many duties, a great uh, champion of what we're discussing here today. Of course, President Kikwate uh, Jakea, in spite of his uh, modest descriptions of the progress that he's been making, is. Uh, uh, leads a government that is uh, a truly a positive force, not just in this particular area of international development, but in uh, international relations just more broadly, a great partner of ours and of the international community. Melinda Gates, leading the Gates Foundation, which is also a tremendous partner for Canada, not just in the area we're talking about today, but many areas of international assistance. Uh, very pleased to have Melinda here. And Margaret, the Chan of the World Health Organization, Margaret, has uh, really been the uh, driving force of what the WHO has been doing on this, and I also assure you is never late today uh, being, uh, we just all got here early, I think. <laughs> and Margaret's a tremendous ball of energy. I uh, also want to greet my um, uh, colleagues who have joined me from Canada today, Le Ministre Paradis du Développement National and also Minister Yelich, uh, Minister of State for Foreign Affairs and Consular. Um, they're here today, as a number of my colleagues are, as part of our uh, efforts in New York this week to uh, highlight various uh, aspects of our work uh, in the international community. But in particular, the, I'm here to talk about what is really a key, in many ways, the flagship priority of Canada for international engagement, and that is uh, this whole area of child and maternal health, and I'll try and be brief. Um, as uh, everybody in this room knows, uh, the Millennium Development Goals identified one of the world's great tragedies, and that is the shocking mortality of mothers and their young children in developing countries. Uh, but as you all know, there's an even greater tragedy, and that tragedy is that the deaths of these women and children, mostly uh, from uh, victims of disease, poor nutrition, and inadequate care, these are often entirely preventable situations. That's why, as uh, Nora mentioned, the leaders of the G8 at the Muskoka Summit in 2010 decided to champion improving maternal, newborn, and child health in developing countries. And of course, it was not long after that, through the leadership of the Secretary General, that the Muskoka Initiative was soon amplified by the United Nations Global Strategy. I'm very proud today just to uh, announce in passing that a significant portion of the funds that we committed at Muskoka will support nine important projects around the globe. Uh, these cover a range of uh, issues in this particular area uh, that will improve the health of uh, mothers and children and will strengthen immunization efforts in developing countries. Now, ladies and gentlemen, um, I think the most important thing to note about what happened at Muskoka wasn't uh, simply the monies pledged, but those monies were pledged also around a framework, a framework uh, based on a firm condition that delivering on such commitments is what is actually important. Thus, at Muskoka, G8 leaders also agreed to develop unprecedented new standards of accountability for the pledges that we were making. Since then, it's been my honor to work with uh, President Kikwate on the United Nations Commission on Information and Accountability for Women and Children's Health. We tabled our final report entitled mm -hmm. Keeping Promises, Measuring Results in 2011, when I last uh, participated in this particular forum. And as we all saw at the G8 Summit in Lockern this year, in fact, the G8 process of accountability reports is continuing. Nevertheless, as has been mentioned, even with this unprecedented focus on newborn, maternal, and child health, it remains unlikely that the Millennium Development Goals in this area will be fully met. Now, obviously, there's a lot of individual things that uh, everybody here and many people outside this room need to do, given uh, that reality. Two things, however, are broadly important. First, 
It is imperative that in the two years that remain, that we not simply resign ourselves to incompletion. But we must stay the course and continue to push strongly towards these goals. We have to remember that to the wor world's mothers and children, what we are working for here is li these goals are literally vital. Degrees of failure are not measured in dollars. They are measured in thousands of lives. So there can be no excuse for complacency. The second thing is that as the inter United Nations and the international community set new development goals beyond 2015, we must not lose sight of the goals for women and children's health that we have established at Muskoka and beyond. Therefore, just as accountability for our pledges must remain a core principle going forward, it's also essential that we set up the systems that assure accountability in terms of the delivery. And specifically essential that there be the proper allocation of resources uh, to vital statistics so that these can be accurately registered. Frankly, if we are to know how much of a difference we are actually making, it's imperative that we have these facts, that every birth be registered, every death be recorded. Next year, as part of the initiatives I'm announcing today, Canada will host a meeting of key partners on this vital issue of civic registration. Now, let me just conclude uh, with this uh, one thought. Uh, first, uh, we should obviously keep squarely focused on the problems that are before us, on the shortcomings that we still face. But we should also take heart from our success. And as President Kikwate mentioned, there are some maternal deaths are dropping, death rates are dropping worldwide. Millions more children are celebrating their fifth birthday. And they're more, therefore, as you all know, much more likely to re reach maturity. And we may be sure of this. Among all those thousands who are, who are being born now and who in another, area, another era would have died, there are some who will not only live, but who will gladly bear on their shoulders responsibility for their fellow countrymen and women as teachers, as businessmen and women, and also ultimately as leaders. It is then a very good work that we seek to do, and despite the shortcomings, we should not become weary in the doing of it. Therefore, before 2015 and in pursuit of what are urgent and noble Millennium Goals, <coughs> therefore, let us uh, give one final vigorous and decisive effort. Thank you. Merci. Thank you.